Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors just like you. Today is episode 208. Happy Friday night. Happy New Year, all that good stuff. This episode is about your agent is not a magician, okay? Your agent is not a magician. Listen, this is your first time watching. Put one in the comments. I know I'm in huge launch mode. I've been teaching all these classes, meeting so many of you for the first time. To all my OG members, put OG in the comments because you know we like this. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up? Replay watchers? Love you guys. It's Friday night. I'm hyped. Shermaine, this is your first time, girl. Come on. Come on in the room, Shermaine. So listen. First of all, let me say this. <laughs> let me say this. I'm so excited for 2020. So happy to have you here. What's up, Kimra? Right? Um, if you have been missing it, I have been teaching a free workshop called Learn the Three Part Rinse and Repeat Process to Book More TV. We've had two amazing classes so far. The last one is tomorrow. And y'all have been showing out. I've been telling y'all all week. My Zoom only lets me have 100 people. Y'all made me have to upgrade my plan. There's 237 to be registered for tomorrow. I didn't have to call Zoom, get the next plan. So this is your chance. You can still come in. I've actually made space. I didn't put the credit card down so that more of you could actually come on in the room. What's up, Andrea Jones, OG in the house? So listen, if Instagram, the link is in my bio. The class is tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. It's not recorded. There are no replays. I'm sorry, Australia. I know I got some of you in Australia. It's just, you're gonna have to wake up and hang with me, okay? But let's get into this because this was inspired by some of the people, some of you actors who showed up to the past two webinars that we did. And I heard this coming up over and over again. Some of you even emailed me asking about this. So let's talk about it on this Friday night before I walk the dog who's looking at me like, lady, if you don't take me out. <laughs> but yes, um, okay, so let's get into it. So what I'm hearing is, and this is probably more for my builders, my brand Nubians, right? Sometimes we can think, oh, once I get an agent, then blank. Once I up level my agent, then blank. And we forget about the, the work that we have to do. So my whole course that just launched is called Book More TV. It's my signature course. The doors have opened. So if you want to work in TV, I highly suggest you come on and check it out. But what some people have been saying is, well, maybe not right now because I don't even have an agent yet. So why should I even really be focusing on getting my on-camera self together? And to me, that's really bass backwards, okay? <laughs> because it's like, your agent is not a magician. You can meet with an agent tomorrow, um, right, Cortland, right? You can even meet with an agent tomorrow, Deneen, Andrea, but if you, and they could sign you based off your looks and your potential. But if you can't show and prove when you actually get the audition, when you actually get the self-tape appointment, they're keeping a tally. They have a record of how many times you've been submitted and not chosen. They have a tally, because you can get a submission report on that. But then they have a tally of the things that you booked or at least got pinned for, called back for. And so my whole thing, I'm going to really push you guys, do not think that the agent is going to fix anything. They're expecting you to do your job as an actor, as a professional performer. And I'm just going to say professional, even if you still work in your nine to five and five to 10, you got to sit in a place of professionalism. You got to be pro now, act as if, see yourself where you want to be. I think some of you think there's a, ma a switch that's gonna happen and like, oh, once I get the opportunity, then I'll get ready. We all know that saying, you gotta stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. There's no truer words, right? There are no, what's up, Brandon? Happy New Year, ain't seen you in a month of Sundays, right? So I really wanna challenge that thinking. So when we can replace manager, we can, place, we can replace agent with manager, manager with agent, it doesn't matter. If you think that your representation is the thing that is stopping you from booking when you actually do get in the room. So I'm not talking about when you don't even get called in. I'm talking about when you get the appointments and then there's still a disconnect. 
then we can't blame that on the agent. The agent's going to look to you and be like, well, what classes are you in? Who are you coaching with? What are you doing? So I really want to just really insert that in your brain. So if you have been stuck in any way or you don't know what the disconnect is, please, I didn't pay for this extra, uh, this extra Zoom room. Y'all need to come on, see me tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific. Okay, the link is in the bio, Instagram, Facebook, the link is above. But this is real. As we head into this new season, I mean, I'm so excited about all these streaming services. We got Apple TV, Netflix. We got freaking uh, Disney getting a, a streaming service. Spectrum. That's out here in LA. I don't know what that is. Probably in Atlanta. Y'all, Comcast probably got a streaming service for all I know. So think about the possibilities. Hi, Orlando. Right? Think about the possibilities that are there. So if you're thinking, I'm going to wait until the phone rings, no, because let me tell you what's going to happen. Real talk. You're going to crumble because you're going to panic. Even some of my VIP clients in my inner circle, they'd be like, oh, I got to tape this audition again. She got me taping again. Uh, she didn't give me more notes. Yes, because we got to work the muscle. This is a muscle we are working. I hope some of y'all who've been following me, again, if you're just joining, this is Actors Daily Bread, episode 208. Come on over to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, show the love, and catch up, really. But I know I sound like a broken record, but you know, a lot of times people DM me, they send me Facebook messages, they see me in the street at auditions, in the waiting room. I had two auditions today, and people are like, Christine, like, hi, right? And people just want, I'm, I'm, if I can be frank, er I'm tired of actors wanting this easy magic pill it's like you got the actors who go hard in the paint they're doing the work they're in class they're studying they got mentorship they are just serious focused then you have the actors who just want this like magic pill like just want to skip the line now listen it's why you get mentorship. It's why you get uh, coaches and people to help you so that you can learn from their mistakes and they can help you jump the line. But expecting anything to be handed to you or given to you is a joke because it's not sustainable. You will be outed eventually for having lack of talent or lack of preparation. You know, my goal for anyone who works with me is so that you feel empowered, that you feel like, I can make a choice. And I talk about this in my webinar. Those of you who've been on it the past few days, you know, I get amped up about this. I'm so tired of actors feeling powerless and feeling like I have I need permission to make this choice. What will my acting teacher say? I know they suggested this, but if I don't do it, am I wrong now? And now you're second guessing yourself all through the process. So all this muck, all these thoughts, all the second guessing, now is the time to start working through this, peeling those layers off, right? Thinking, thinking of yourself as this onion and peeling these layers of doubt, anxiety, worry, desperation, right? Frustration. Start peeling that off so that when the next opportunity comes, you're not bringing all that mess and all them layers in the room. But what, most importantly, for those of you who are in transition to new representation or who are searching for new representation or who are not represented yet, she was, Shermaine said, come on, layers. Yes. Just remember the agent, the manager is not the magic pill. You better show up so ready. So for those of you who have been working with me or taking my classes or doing even the free workshops or watching my YouTubes, this is the time. Be in the lab now. Be in the lab now. And remember that I told you so. Please. There are no magic pills. And see, some of y'all don't want to even know about the backstory. I was talking to my friend about this tonight, and I'm going to go in a second. People be like, oh, Christine, tell me about that red carpet. You told you was yeah, but, you know, that first red carpet I did, I was still working my nine to five, and I had to go wait tables, and I barely had money to get to the, get to the red carpet. I had to borrow that dress because I didn't have the money. Like, nobody wants to hear that. Just, just tell me about the red carpet. But I think the struggle is important for you to hear, too, because you may be in that place. And sometimes we put people on a pedestal, and we have no idea what's happening behind closed doors 
or what they're doing just to show face. So don't envy anybody. This as we move into this new season, I've been I've been talking about this for the past few days. Just literally, you guys, let's all just put our blinders on. Like those horses we see on the street. Put the blinders on. Be so freaking focused about your path, your destiny, what you got planned. And don't let anything deter you because what you see is not what you see. It is your perception, but you have no clue what's happening in people's lives. Someone gets that series regular, someone gets that major recurring, and you're like, oh, why me? When me, God? Boo, you have no idea what he or she has been through. Stay in your lane. Focus on your race. And I guarantee you will gain so much more time, <laughs> energy, <laughs> by just staying here. Staying here. And then the people who are shining and succeeding around you, celebrate that because, oh my God, that means it's getting closer and closer to me. It is so close to me right now. I can touch it. That is, a, uh, that is proof that it is possible. Look how close it is to me. That's my girl. That's my dude. We got to move in that, in that kind of energy, in that kind of zone. That's the energy we got to bring for this new year. This new decade, right? That's all I got for tonight. Your agent is not a magician. Your manager is not a magician. Do the work. Study where you need to study. And listen, let me say this. With, I know. One, one last tidbit. Because I don't talk about this in the, in, the, in the webinar, in the class that I'm teaching. But this just came up for me. And I feel, thank you for the love, Instagram. Facebook's a little quiet. Facebook's a little quiet. Instagram be showing out. Hey, Gail. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sharon. Nancy. I'm saying this to all of you. As we move into this new season, if you are, when you, for those of you who do self tapes, if you are taping someplace where you don't feel 100% free, find a new place. Let me say this again. If you are taping at a studio where you feel so rushed, oh God, I got to hurry up and oh, okay, well, well, let me hold on. And then now they're giving you suggestions and you're like, that's not how I practice it and now you're feeling thrown guess what it's all showing up on the computer it's all showing up on the camera and that's showing up in your auditions so i'm trying to tell y'all it might be time to find a new place to tape if you are not taping at home for those of you taping at home if it's your husband girlfriend mama cousin uh cousin pookie friend peanut reading with you and you're not 100 percent free free to mess up free to cry free to be frustrated free to go in your zone and look crazy, you need to find someone else to read with you, period, point blank. We can't, we can't blame our not booking on other um, outside exterior circumstances. The work we do is so precious. The work we do is spiritual. So we are so vulnerable. You got to be able to get down to the white meat and step into the new, these new characters and these new people and bring their stories to life. And if you are in a place taping with a friend who you feel like y'all the same type and oh no, I feel weird, all that is showing up on the camera, period. So I wanna leave you with that because that could be affecting your bookings too and your audition process, period. You're not free. <laughs> Bitch, get free. <laughs> Let's be free, please. This is part of our job. Like, and I want y'all to make some money at this too. So you can like get residuals and live and not feel like it's so, you know, precious and desperate. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have an amazing night. If you have not come to my workshop, the last one is tomorrow. I done bought an extra plan to get more people on so that 137 don't have to be turned away like you guys were on Monday. I got so many emails saying, I couldn't get in, I couldn't get in. One of my, shout out to Sarah Faye, one of my clients, she's like, I, she logged on two hours early, honey. She like, uh-uh, I got my seats. <laughs> and guess what? She was there. But I, for, for you guys, because I'm like, I logged in, I said, oh, shoot now, they showing up. And there's no way I could turn 137 of you away. So um, tomorrow, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Eastern, 10, 10 a.m. Pacific. Link is in 
the above or below. Instagram is in my bio. Have an amazing night. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging. If you found this helpful, hit the like, show some love, and maybe do something radical and share this with another actor who could use some inspiration. Have a great night.